Hey guys, Zombie here. Welcome back for episode five of season one of the Owl House. Let's get ready to just go ahead and hop into this one, guys. If you want to see the full reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're able to the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. This is a great way to support the channel, help us do the things we do over here. But at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. To least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really helps these videos out. And with that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode five. Convention? Here we go. Emboldened by the dishonor Hecate had shown, Azura lifted her staff and shouted, I challenge you to a witch's duel. And look, I drew a flip book. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Show me the picture. That's not like foreshadowing her getting into a duel later in this, is it? Uh, please stop reading that. It's flowery language is an insult to witches and driving away all our serious customers. Um, Ida? What customers? <laughs> there aren't even any other stands around. What's going on? This is a bad omen. There must be something horrible happening today. Loose! Something amazing is happening today! Gus, Willow, oh, hey! everybody's just it's somewhere else. Convention. Student witches get to see all the types of covens before they're placed in one. Oh, huh. I never joined a coven for a reason. Sure, it's like a fun club for witches, but you're also giving up your magical independence to be part of a crooked system. Hmm. Eh, but, you know, no judgment. In any case, I haven't been to one since we were girls. We? I, I mean... Who's we? You have a mysterious past. Now we gotta go! Well, no, no. shit. She was cursed okay. by somebody, too. No on top of all that. You shall not shant do it! No more harm, Azura calleth out. So flowery, oh, so awful. Just did she? For the screeching did worsen it. She's nope right the hell out of here. I literally do anything to stop this. Alchemist Anonymous. Nice. Someone did say that uh, the creator of this show was an Al a Full Metal Alchemist fan. I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I saw a comment saying something along those lines, and I, I, I could see that. Is this cowl really necessary? Do you think all my wanted posters are for petty theft? I mean, partly. Maybe. The big whammy is I disobey the law and refuse to join a coven. If I'm seen, I could go to jail. Wait, you can Again. go to jail for maybe not joining a coven? Will inspire you to join a coven. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Maybe she's also wanted for smothering children. Covens, but there are hundreds of other ones you can join. Ooh, cat coven. There's Sign me up. Coven, artist coven, big dog coven, small dog Cinnabon. Coven. Cat coven. Uh, nice. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but you look rather familiar. Uh, no, I don't. Distraction spell. <laughs> Hex mix. Wow, she's like, I'm not even gonna let you actually have that. It's the construction coven. Well, damn! They use power gloves to increase their strength. Well, hell yeah! Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? Ah, you've been taken in by the allure of the illusionist coven. We like to magic with a okay. cantrip coven. Nice. Wow, coven sound incredible. You know, why haven't you ever joined one? Watch closely, Luz. When you join a coven, all your other magic is sealed away. Oh. Oh, From wait. Now on, that kid will only be able to make illusions. Since I never joined a coven, I can do every kind of magic. That's why I'm huh. the most powerful witch on the Boiling Isles. Why would they do that? Where? The tea leaves foretell that this will lead you to your destiny. Destiny? <laughs> I'm not paying for... It's free. Are you bestowing gifts upon me? Use this pen to write your own destiny. <gasps> it's the Emperor's Coven. Dude. Do you think those on my forehead? Only one way to find out. Carnivorous Plant Coven. Aren't you coming, Ida? No way. Of all the covens, they're the worst. I'll wait out here. I get it, Ida. Coven's bad, individualism good. But I'm still figuring this world out, so I'm going to go in there and make up my own you mind. Could have the, well, I was going to say you could have the best of both worlds, but apparently not when you get part of yourself locked off by signing up for one. That's a little 
icky to me. All right, let's see this mess. Good God, that child in the top right needs to clean his nose. Hello, Bonesboro. Hey, it's Suckerhead. Ask me all the time, Principal Bump. What's the height of magical achievement? Is it this? Oh, did he just break his own neck? It's being selected to join the best of the best, and there are none better than the jewel of the coven system and the enforcers of his will, the Emperor's Coven. Bruce! Feast your eyes on this elite force. Each member handpicked to help usher in a new age of controlled magic. Controlled magic. Members of the Emperor's Coven have access to all, yes, all forms of magic. Wait. But only the best can ascend these ranks. Someday that could be one of you. Hey, look who's here. <laughs> I am pleased to introduce the esteemed leader of this coven and this year's mystery guest, Lilith. <laughs> Lilith. Huh? Oh, is this the you we she was talking about enough. before? Mysterious past. Thank you all. It wasn't easy for me to rise to the top. I also started from humble beginnings. Like me? Now I have the highest honor of enforcing the Emperor's will. So be more. The Emperor's Coven awaits you. Dude. Ida, where are you going? Mysterious I'm gonna past. I'm going to wash the confunk off my skin. But we haven't even taken the quiz to determine our coven type. <laughs> Oh, it's you, Willow's abomination thing. So, funny story, not an abomination. Sorry for the confusion last week. I I'm Luce, the human. Hi. Uh, Luce, the way. human. You're the one that got me in trouble with Principal Bump, and I never get in trouble. This convention is for witches only. Well, I'm learning how to be a witch. I'm receiving magic lessons from a powerful witch and a ferocious demon. Is that your ferocious demon there? Cupcakes in my tummy tum make the king say yummy yum. So will you join the baker's coming? Mm, nope. No, he's okay. just running around well, agreeing well, enough to get all the free shit they're offering and try to bribe everybody into signing up. Oops. He's just hitting up every that table. Why are you being so mean? That was rude. Because you and your pet are giving witches and training a bad name. I am not a pet. He's a very good boy and the king of demons. Yes, I'll he is. What, Amity. It's one thing to say I can't be a witch, because you can't. But it's another thing to bully my friends. I challenge you to a witch's duel. <gasps> there it is. You have no idea what you are doing. But yeah, her elitism like seems like it's ambition driven because she really, really seems to want to be a member of the Emperor's Coven or something like that. So she's like hyper fixated on being a perfectionist and a good student and all these things. And Luce's chaos is just, uh oh. The everlasting oath is sealed. That's probably fine. Uh, the <laughs> maybe. Let's see what kind of witch. I lost my train of thought. King, I could win this, right? Mm, no. <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sister? Sister. It's been so long since I've seen you last. What are you wearing? You look like some sort of trash collector. Oh, right, <laughs> you are. Oh, Lily, I just had to see the leader of the Emperor's Coven in action. You know, when we were kids, Lilith was so excited to see the Emperor's Coven, she peed a little. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all for today. You shouldn't even be here. You're a wanted criminal. Unless you're here to join the Emperor's Coven. <laughs> In your dreams. Huh? You think being covenless makes you so much smarter than everyone else. But while you run from the law like a degenerate, I'm mentoring the next generation of powerful witch students into the world. I have a student, and I bet she could wipe the floor with any of your prissy little blue bloods. Is that a challenge? Eat, I need your help. I accidentally challenged Amity to a witch's duel, and I think she's going to kill me all the way dead. <laughs> mm, it seems your student has met my strongest protege. Oh. And look at those ears. Wow. Is she human? <laughs> Where did you even find one of these? 
For one day, you won't have to hide from the law, because I want to see how good a teacher you really are. Interesting. Come on, kid. Let's Time go. For we need a Rocky-style montage. All right, Liz. Let's start your training. Now, I'm coming at you with a blast of fire. What do you do? <laughs> oh, that's right. I haven't taught you many spells, <gasps> huh? In none. None. Light. Light smell. And you didn't even do that. She did that with her phone. She just needs a pocket full of like, like a notepad or like a sticky note pad in her pocket to just like have a bunch of pre-made like sigils on it. Oh boy. How long does that last? This little power up for this little demon head. We are not going to let them win at all. I've got an idea. Dude, she can make a series of like Yu-Gi-Oh cards just with the skit, like the sigils already on them, just to be like, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. <laughs> Introducing Amity Blight. Woo, Amity! Versus. I mean, to be fair, her name does kind of have a like an antagonistic tinge to it. Ida, what am I going to do? Calm down. You see those mounds? Get Amity to land on one of those, and she'll set off my magic traps. Oh, uh, that, yeah. Nobody will know. To all eyes up there, it'll look like you're performing magic. Just trust me. But I will know in my heart. Even if I win now, I lose. <laughs> That's the spirit. <sighs> well. Abomination. Rock. Whoa. That one's huge. Show me what you got, human. <laughs> How did you do that? Magic? <laughs> uh, ba -da -ba. Things that are free. People are giving offerings to me. Swag coven. Love offerings. What did I miss? He looks like Joey when he wore all of Chandler's clothes. I saw you that time. You didn't use your hands. What are you getting at? Not dying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, she's being honest. Calamity. Hey, you root for loose or nobody. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, is he gonna fall into one of the mounds? No, Amity, don't step any closer. Why, Luz? What happens if I step closer? Ah! Oh! Hmm? I'm okay. Spikes? I knew it! You were cheating! Amity, no! Oh, Ida, I do believe this means you lose. <sighs> Just like Luz it said. It was my idea to cheat, and when I found out, I tried to stop it. But who could believe anything you say? Oh, what the hell? Protege. Oh, is that why her her abomination was massive this time? Yes, it was. A power glyph from the construction coven. <gasps> so that worked. I mean, I knew it. She cheated. Wow. So it doesn't just physically power you up, it powers up everything. I knew you would cheat. Uh, still cheated. Welcome down to my life. Wow. I didn't know. Amity, wait. Both of their teachers, oh, and she actually feels like hurt by that. Cause she was kind of shocked, I think, by the size of uh, her abomination she created. She thought that was herself, but it wasn't. Their feud is bleeding into their interactions with their pupils. Yo! Well, here's a duel. There she is. Wow. Such grace. No. Oh. Amity. I'm sorry. Seriously, just leave me alone. I didn't mean to embarrass you. That's all you ever do. First at school and now this. You made me look like a fool in front of the Emperor's Coven. My future. You think it's so easy to be a witch. I have been working my whole life to get to the top. You yeah, lost. there it is. You cheated. Say it. Say you're not a witch. I'm not a witch. 
But I'm training hard to be one. Aww. Yo. Oh. <laughs> oh, if only it was actually Hootie. Oh god. Oh my lord. Dude, let's go. This is epic. <laughs> wow. Enough of this. Damn. Lily, wait. The curse. The curse is worsening and I can't keep up with it. I don't know how much time I have left. I just had to see my sister for possibly the last time. Ida, I... Wait. Oh, or was she just fucking with her? Or was it... It's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, a little bit of both. I've never seen it cast like that. It doesn't come naturally to me like it does for you, so I've had to improvise. The oath is unbound. Did it work? Can I still learn magic? Humans have no magical ability, but I doubt that'll stop you. Aww. Rose, you left me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, your legs are just so tiny. Should we get you? We'll win her over friends? yet. Nah, that stuff just weighed me down. But I have something for you, Luz, and it's the best thing because it's free, comes from my heart, and I always have more than I need. <gasps> Is it love? Uh, no. Tote bags. <laughs> they have so many uses. <laughs> away, fair chariot. Away. <laughs> Oh, that was good. God, I love attack. King. Do you think I'll ever be a true witch? Who's a true witch? These suckers? Well, according to them, that means being in a coven, but I never joined one, and I'm better than all of them combined. You gotta be your own witch. Now, let's go before my sister realizes I tied her pointy shoes together. Ah! And that's our cue. <laughs> we'll get you eventually. Lovely. Oh, you think that's all the mystery I got? Wait till you hear about my parents. What? You've got parents? I need to know more. You very much don't. Well, I think she just popped into existence out of nowhere. Lilith, I see you let the Owl Lady get the best of your temper. Just remember what Emperor Bellows has promised you. I will capture her, ma'am. You have my word. Very good. Well, what is that? Your days are numbered, Edelin. Well, that's an ominous way to end. What kind of exchange has she made? She's made an arrangement in exchange for capturing her sister. Interesting. I like the way the show operates. It's like, oh, here's a little crumb, here's a little thing, and then you don't have to wait too long for getting the answers. You know, stuff like that. Like the whole, ooh, who's this mysterious we we're talking about? Your mysterious past. <laughs> that whole thing. And then we got the answer to that question. Her sister joined a coven. She did not. She ended up cursed as well. And they become strained and uh, estranged, as estranged as Ida tends to be. I don't know. I, I like the way that we were following up on that, and we learned a lot about this world. There's, there's some weird shit going on. There's some stuff I'm I'm not vibing with, as far as like uh, the conformity here, the the way this place is trying to control magic. Only those that are in the Emperor's Coven have access to all of the different sects of magic. Otherwise, once you choose your coven, you have all of your other abilities sealed away so that you can only do that which you signed up for. You know, the potential to do anything else is taken away, which kind of makes a little more sense when we're looking back with what Willow was doing. Obviously, she had yet to join a coven at this point, but they have these tracks at school that set them up and set them on a path towards a certain specialization. Ida was like, uh, no, no one's telling me what I can and can't do. And she can do all magic. And anybody would have, under normal circumstances, would be able to access all magic. But once you sign up, as you are encouraged to do into a coven, and if you are covenless, it's against the law to be a covenless witch. 
which is part of the reason among many that she is wanted. It just seems like this is a way to control the masses, to control magic and its users, except for an elite chosen few. There's some kind of sinister element buried behind that that I'm sure we are yet to uncover. We got a little taste, a little taste, because guess what? Edith's sister is a member of said coven, and she's reporting to somebody else who's got some kind of little scheme or a little machination going on that we don't yet know. We got a little bit of a seed of that. We also got another seed of, oh, you don't even know what my parents are like, which could just be a joke. Um, but I, I do want to know more. I loved all the little gags in this, all the different covens as we were at this convention for them, this job fair, as they called it, and getting to see the way they had fun with that dude, the sen -bun thing, that got me. I mean, there's just such a, like, uh, there's so many, like, just mundane covens all throughout as well that I found really, really funny. And then we have this witch's duel element that came into play where Lou's just kind of, again, talking herself up in her bravado and her hopes and her ambition, kind of talks a bigger game and isn't taking everything as seriously as she probably should in this world that is more than willing and ready to kill her at any point. You know, like she just got herself in this situation, talked herself up and, you know, again, getting lost in her fantasies, again, really getting trapped in this book and her idea of magic versus what she's actually witnessing in the world or fantasy versus reality. And she gets herself in this situation where, you know, she's not even able to fight by her own power, which I like how that ended up kind of manifesting when she did turn to Edith to try to get some help towards what she kind of got herself trapped in. And once she realized it was her sister's pupil, she was like, okay, well, we will do this, we'll do that. And I was like, I know I can't teach you all these things on the fly, so we'll just, we'll just cheat. We'll make it look like you're doing magic and just set all these traps in the arena where they were going to fight because, you know, they don't want to look bad. They want Luz to win. They want to rub it in their sister's face. And similarly, Lilith wants to do the same thing because she doesn't trust her sister just because she doesn't know what this uh, human is capable of. She still amps up Amity as well against her own knowledge. Amity went into this thinking this was her own power. She didn't even realize she had that glyph put on her that enhanced her abilities. You know, she wanted to win of her own. She wants to prove herself. She wants to earn, you know, what she's obtained. She's working really hard to make something of herself. You know, she's talking about how you don't know how far some of us have gotten and how much some of us have worked to get just to where we are here in our world. And she is born a witch. And she still had to claw tooth and nail to get this far. That's why she's so concerned over her perception, over how the school sees her, over not ever getting in trouble, how b being this A student, she wants to rise above, which is something I talked about. I was like, there was something when we first met her that gave me that air is that there's something behind the scenes in the way they portrayed the character and the way that she was acting that made me at least hope that there was something more behind the scenes. There's a reason why she needs this. And it seems like either she comes from a lowly family, maybe she's, maybe she comes from a gifted family and she's just not, but she works really hard to make up for it. And maybe that's why she's even harder on Willow in some of these ways. Cause she's like, hey, I kind of started off like that, but that's also her way of kind of being a little superior in a way as well. You know, I don't know. I'm very curious to learn more about her because she also, in the end, sympathized with her because once she realized that her power was not her own in this moment and she didn't win fairly, she felt ashamed of that, humiliated even by it. I don't know. It just hurts when 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 that's how things go. Like, you, you, you want to win by your own means. A, a victory via cheating isn't really a victory. You know, it's just a shortcut. You know, like there's nothing earned or gained from that. And when it comes out like that, publicly like that, especially with that audience that saw, that impacts her reputation, that could impact her future, her, you know, any kind of consideration for what she's trying to do. And this is the fault of their teachers at the end. Like the way that they were uh, kind of working out and hashing out their own kind of conflict, their own feud through these children, through their students. A little yucky. A little yucky, just a little bit. Meanwhile, King is just running around these this convention, just getting all the swag he can get. I thought that was hilarious. Once it kind of boiled down to all of this, and Lilith and Ida got into a fight of their own, dude. the The way they were using their magic and all that stuff was wild. Her summoning that like fucking giant pillar of hootie, and then the way it would splinter off into other ones. Man, there was some Naruto vibes there. There was some Full Metal stuff with the way they were using the circles. Again, if there's not any anime influence, 
uh, maybe I'm making the connection, but I would not be shocked to learn there is more there than that because I that that was reminiscent of a lot of different techniques that I've seen, and it was just so wild to see it come to life. And I like it in this animation style. It also gives it a different flavor, even if it is evocative of some things I've seen before or similarly. I love the aesthetic. I love the art style. love the direction of it and the way they kind of coursed out and parsed out the action. Fits in very uniquely with this world and its humor and sensibilities. I don't know. It was really fun. And I'm wondering if there is something to Ida's curse that like limits or at least destabilizes her magic because her sister was able to get the upper hand on her. And like she said, I don't know if she was serious. I don't know if she was serious in playing you using these truths to kind of weasel out of this situation when she did find herself on the ground on her knees when she was talking about, hey, I just want to come out here to see to my sister because I don't know how much time I have left because of this curse. Like, look at me. So I don't know if it like weakens her and that's why her magic is unstable sometimes or if she is just weakened by this curse or if eventually the curse will just take over. You know, we had that introduced in the last episode, but we don't really know the full extent of that and she's taking this this elixir every morning to to keep it at bay. But what happens when she can't? Is that only temporary? I mean, obviously it's a temporary fix, but like, will that elixir eventually stop working? Like, will she need something else? Or after a while, is there nothing that can hold it off? Or she Was there any truth? What I'm getting at is, was there any truth in what she was saying there? Or was it just to get her sister to pause in the moment? I don't know. We learned a lot about the way this world works and a lot of sketchy shit about how this world works that is going on about the way that this world kind of compartmentalizes and controls and bureaucratizes magic. I feel like we're gonna have to break that system at some point in some way, at least by apprenticing with Ida Luce doesn't have to like seal herself off in like that way. And gotta say, I love the recurring use of the little head, the little demon head, and then them getting that patch and going Super Saiyan and then raging across, like literally doing the like fucking Super Saiyan aura, the Dragon Ball charge up thing, and then just wrecking everything. And that just kind of being a little gag that popped up throughout. Another solid episode, man. This show, like uh, it's it's consistent. There's We're five episodes in. It's been one win after the other. The more we learn about this world, the more and more intriguing it gets. And the characters themselves, um, they're not one dimensional. No one has been so far. Everybody's been pretty well-rounded. Like as much as like Amity came off as this kind of like archetype, there's more to it behind the scenes. And I like that and the way that they kind of connected by the end of this episode. And I'm excited to see how we explore that, how Luce is able to kind of through our own vulnerability, break through uh, Amity's barriers. And so we can kind of get to know what's going on behind the scenes with her a little bit more, get to see why she's so gung-ho about uh, being this perfectionist, about striving towards this greatness. And uh, is there like something else that is driving that need and that desperation? And when we were introduced to her, like, you know, I was talking about, I was like, I wasn't sure if she was going to be like the rival or if we were going to eventually warm her up and bring her into the fold. I mean, hell, in the intro, like I said, you know, we see her with the other two kids that Luce met at the Academy, but that could just be, these are the Academy kids, the primary ones we're going to focus in on. Doesn't necessarily mean that's, hey, that's our friend group or anything like that. You know, that could go any number of ways. So I'm excited to see how that evolves, no matter which way that goes. And hell, even so, we could have a well-rounded rival in the end, one that has this relationship of respect with their rival. But that said, guys, I'll call it there. Want to know what you all thought? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're carrying the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for coming over to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherry, Your Corps, Scott, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L., Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Sam Weir. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.